When I woke up today this morning, I had to look at the calendar to confirm that it was not 2022 or 2021 at least. There's so much politics in this country that anybody will be forgiven for thinking we are entering into an election the following day. And because of this, I got thinking. And I came out from that thinking with what would almost be a categorical statement that William Samoy Ruto is living Jubilee. What is more is that he will not only live Jubilee, but William Samoy Ruto is going to live government. It is therefore a question of not if, in my thinking. And after a very serious reflection, I have almost come to a firm conclusion that it is a question of when he lives. And therefore, being a good man, I thought I would look at this and perhaps examine it and either side would benefit from my insights. If William Ruto leaves government closer to now than closer to 2022, what are the repercussions for him and for government? If he leaves government close to 2022, what are the repercussions? What are the implications for both sides? I got thinking. But even before I look at what an early exit means vis-a-vis -a, -vis a late exit means, I must inform William Ruto that that exit must be well thought of and executed with the precision of an eagle. Executed not just with speed, but with very serious calculations because then it will mean everything. Many generals in the world were defeated because of wrong timing. Napoleon was caught up in the Russian winter. The Russian winter consumed people. Hitler was defeated at some point, not just because of opening war, two or three war fronts, but also because of some timing. And therefore, William Samoy Ruto, you will have to leave government. What, the what your opponents are doing, they are breaking your lieutenants. Itumbi's arrest must be an eye opener to you that there is a determined effort to ensure that you are isolated. So this will inform your exit. In the animal kingdom, hunters like lions isolate their prey. Even in human tactics, the same happens. So if somebody wants to finish you, they first isolate you, and then you are easy kudenguliwa. This is how you must then begin to see the Itumbi story. This is how you must then begin to see what has happened to your lieutenants in the past. But I want to tell you this. In the words of President Ronald Reagan, as he was taking oath for his second term, he told the Americans, you ain't seen no nothing. So William Samoy Ruto, if you think your people have been harassed, you ain't seen no nothing. Because I am sure, I've said before, when an onslaught is made on your people, when corruption cases get to prosecution level, when that time comes and the president keeps his word that he's going to suspend, if not sack cabinet secretaries and other top officials, once they are charged, when that time comes, and my friend, it's not far, you will see the kind of cold that will begin to engulf you.
as your friends are knocked off one after the other. The idea is you'll get to 2022 not only isolated, almost a pariah, William Samoy Ruto. In fact, those who remain with you may not be of much use to you. Murukomen, in, by 2022, he will be limping. Such a limping man will not help you. So now, back to the exit. At what point do you exit, William Samoy Ruto? If you exit now, or closer to now, than closer to 2022, you lose all the trappings of power. You lose all the security detail you have. Yet to remain is to live through frustrations, is to watch as your lieutenants are isolated and frustrated. But then if you leave again, you are again naked. So choose, do you want to live and remain in the cold and naked, making it easier for anybody to dengue you? If again you wait until late, your opponents will have watered you down so much that by the time the elections are called, like I've said, you'll be isolated. Those with you will be limping. So a strategy has to be crafted by you, William Samoy Ruto. A strategy of exit. When we were young people, dating girls, breakups were common. We were young people, you know, teenagers and stuff like that. Whenever there was a breakup, each party wanted to say they are the ones. We used to say dish or something like that. That is me who left her. She would be telling her friends, I couldn't cope up with that guy. He's so lousy. So I left him. Now you are at that point. Is it you who is going to leave government? Call the president's bluff and move out. There is advantage to that also because you can then go into an open war of recruitment. You will have shown your supporters, you have the steam, you have fire in the belly, and you are willing to bite the bullet and face your opponents in the open, daylight. Again, if you wait, like I've said, they will slowly nibble at you. They will slowly eat at you. They will slowly get your supporters. And by the time you get to 2022, William Samoy Ruto, you'll be means, you'll be, you'll be a duck to be picked from the ground and slaughtered. So, this morning I thought about this and I say, if I were William Samoy Ruto, what would I do? I didn't get answers. But the observations I'm making could help you, Ruto. Because leave government and you believe you must. There, is, there are no two ways about it. In fact, leaving government earlier, Ruto, might be a way of saving your people. Because the more you stay, the more your people will be hit at. So that when you look at what has happened to Itumbi and other people, that will be like Sunday school business. So you might have even to think about exiting government so as to save your, 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 your supporters, to save your lieutenants. But then nobody will go for them once you are not there. They might think they have already finished you. So think about it. Look at it critically. Decide when to leave. A retreat is only a working strategy if the timing is proper. Because it will be full hard of you to retreat when you have already been vanquished. At the same time, if you hurry into the retreat, you could be playing into the opponent's game. So, you have the choice to make. The choice you don't have to make. You don't have that option. William Samoy Ruto is leaving government. That you don't have. The choice you will have to make, in my thinking, is how close to now do you live? 
or how close to 2022 will you then live? That is the only choice you have. And I must repeat, you must do it with the precision of an eagle.